G'day guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today, well, I really don't know what to call this video. Um, most of you that are pretty regular to my channel know that I went away and that I've come back and I've been back for a little while now and I still haven't got any content up. And that's partially for two reasons. One of the reasons is, is obviously I've been away and I've come back and although the trip was great, it was perfectly fine, it was relaxing, I've come back to a bit of chaos with this virus that's going on. So I have tried to record multiple times and I just, my heart hasn't been in it. My head has been somewhere else and I found myself being really, really flat. My equipment sort of messed up and if you're on my Instagram, you would have seen a post from me saying that I had a massive terror tantrum after recording a 30 minute video yesterday and my camera just switched off on me. And so I gave up and put it in the fuck it bucket. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure what I want to talk about in this video. I'm going to talk a little bit about my trip. I'm going to talk a little bit about makeup. I'm just going to talk about a little bit about everything. And um, I'll figure out at the end of the video what I'm going to call this. So you guys obviously already know. So um, if you're interested in hearing a catch up and a few discussions about some new makeup that I've got, some old makeup that I'm still loving, and some makeup that I'm interested in, stay tuned. As I just said in my intro, um, the family and I, we went away for a holiday for a week. We went on a cruise, um, just a local cruise, but, you know, we uh, visited Tasmania and Kangaroo Island and, you know, um, it was lovely. It was the first real family trip that we'd had and I, yeah, first two days were terrible actually because um, a lot of us got uh, seasick, which was new to me because I've been on the water before and I was perfectly fine. But a needle to the ass, and uh, $150 later, right as rain. So anyway, um, the trip was fantastic. I mean, it's what we needed. We are a big family, and um, there's seven of us living in one house, and we're a blended family, which can confuse and complicate things a little bit too from time to time, you know, the whole pecking order with the kids. But anyway, I mean, as you can see from this photo right here, they all look like they got along, and they did. And um, I think it might have brought them a little bit closer, which I'm absolutely... What could, more could I ask for, really? I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, look, my partner and I, we needed it as well, and I would have loved to have had another week with just my partner and myself. That would have been, that would have been the icing on the cake. But, alas, we come home and, um, look, we had heard about the virus before then, but it was like, it was like this small, it wasn't an issue, it wasn't a worry or anything like that, and we really didn't think that it was going to be anything really extreme, um, or even make it to Australia at that stage. And um, so obviously we've come off the boat, and at that particular stage, the toilet paper in supermarkets was becoming an issue, and um, having a family of seven, I usually shop fortnightly, so that wasn't normally really big an issue for me. You know, I had stock. Um, I, you know, I wasn't going to go out and raid the shelves and go crazy and panic and everything like that. And at that stage, it was just the toilet paper, right? Wasn't really still too concerned. Kids were going to school. Everything was perfectly fine. But because obviously we had come back from a holiday and before we left for the holiday, we used up most of our perishables, stuff that could go rotten. Um, so we were left to the bare minimum and it was payday when we come home. So we did need to do another fortnight shop. Now, here's the funny thing. Obviously, we go to do a fortnightly shop for seven people, which is, it's, it's, it's a lot, okay? It's two supermarkets that we go to, um, and, and really, that's just sort of like bare minimum. Like, I, I'm a budget shopper, so, um, you know, I, it could have been a lot more. And we couldn't get anything. We couldn't even get one-eighth of what we would normally get. So, my partner would go in once a day and pick up the supplies that we were needing, and um, we finally got what we would normally, well not even really what we would normally get, but at least something that resembles what we would normally need in a fortnight without going crazy. But the thing is, and, and this is the funny part, ordinarily without this scare, our fortnightly shop, our trolley would be full, right? And that's natural, that's normal. People wouldn't even give you a sideway glance. But now, you know, the, the full um, cart of shopping, people are looking at us like we're going nuts and we're the, we're the reason why, you know, the supermarket shelves are empty and, you know, just giving us really, really foul looks. And it's like, you don't have all the pieces of the puzzle, so don't judge. The shopping that we're doing is our regular, normal fortnight shop for seven people. I know they don't know that, but, you know, come on. Don't, don't be giving people the stink eye. You don't know their situation. Um, I could understand if we had like 40 rolls of toilet paper, but we didn't even have any toilet paper, so... Anyway. 
I get it. People are going insane. And it's that kind of thing that really put my mind in sort of like, not a panic, but, you know, a deep concern about what we're going to do. And it's what's uh, caused my issues with being able to record. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I come on YouTube to relax, chill. I watch quite a lot of content. And, um, and that's what I've been doing lately, is been watching a lot of content, sort of distracting myself. And I'm hoping that maybe this video can distract other people as well. I know I don't have a lot of um, subscribers, but I'm hoping that anyone that does watch this can either sort of relate and chill out. And yeah, so anyway, let's move on from all that nasty virus stuff and um, talk about some makeup. So on the boat, there was a little bit of makeup, right? So normally I can get, um, you know, Maybelline, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, ALF. You know, that sort of makeup locally. I can't get all the Ubiut fancy brands, you know, the Fenties and, and the Benefits and, you know, just just fancy, fancy brands, Urban Decay, Hourglass. I can't get any of that in my town, right? And so I expected that there was going to be a little bit on board. And there was, to, like, there was more than I have in my town. Yeah, they had Benefit, um, but they really didn't have anything else. I mean, they had Maybelline, they had L'Oreal. They had the body shop, um, Benefit, and Revlon. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess, I guess I was expecting what you would see in like a Melbourne store or like a big, um, I don't know, like Mecca or Ulta or Sephora. I was expecting a little bit bigger, right? But it was one of the smaller boats in the fleet. So mm. anyway, what I did find, and I have got them here, but I'm just going to put a picture on the screen because I can't be bothered. I've already posted it to my stories. I picked up some Spectrum brushes and uh, I have used them. And guess what? I freaking love them. I love them. They are small brushes for the eyes. And um, yeah, it's been better than anything that I have. Um, I'm wrapped with those, but I also picked up the um, the Benefit Bang Girl, Bad Girl, no, Bad Girl Bang, yeah, Bad Girl Bang Mascara, and I have tried that a few times, that's what I'm wearing at the moment, a very, very light coat, I'm not wearing anything else, uh, I went out today, and it's just a habit for me to put on like a lip gloss and mascara, and I, I'm good on a daily basis, lip gloss, mascara, that's all I need. Um, there are days where I like a little bit more, obviously, but um, yes, yeah, so I am wearing just like one really, really, really basic coat of that. And um, I can't give you my 100% my feels. It's not, it isn't my favorite. My favorite still is the Essence um, uh, Lash Princess. Yeah, the green one. Hands down, my favourite, plus it's budget, what can I say? But I do like this one. I just find that it's a lot wetter of a formula, and I actually like a, um, a volumising and lengthening mascara, and I find this one just to be a lengthening mascara, which isn't a bad thing. It is nice. I like it. Um, but there are a few things about it that I... The price, for one. Um, but, you know, there are... I, I would still pick my Essence uh, mascara over this one. So, I like it. But it's not a right, right or die for me. So, um, but also, when I came back, I picked up um, an hourglass ambient lighting um, thingamajiggy. And it's a funny story, actually. I, I went to go and buy the ethereal light. And I don't know about you guys, but I've got shopping carts all over the place. I've got a shopping cart set up for Sephora. I've got a shopping cart set up for Mecca, Glam Raider. Just everywhere right and I'd already had um, originally dim light in my cart right because originally I wanted to get dim light I thought that was the one that I needed um, not saying that I can't use dim light but that's the one that I originally thought that I was going to buy and then after having a discussion with multiple people and also having um, some feedback from Teresa is dead um, I decided that I wanted to get ethereal light so I went on their website and I, I was I was 100% sure I clicked ethereal light. I swear I clicked ethereal light, but I also picked up something else as well. That was in the car. Purchased it. Beauty. It was here really fast. In fact, I think it was here. Yeah, it was here two days after I purchased it. And I'm like, yeehaw! And I've ripped the contents out of the box and I've opened it and I immediately, I immediately saw it's a bit dark, right? I look at the back and it's dim light and I'm like, motherfucker! And I'm like, no, they got it, they got it wrong, right? Because, you know, I'm never wrong. 
I am. Anyway, um, I thought, shit, I better look at the uh, receipt, you know. Um, and I looked at the receipt, and there it is, it's dim light. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I must have, like, I must have opened up the wrong page, or the page that still had dim light in it, and added um, the other stuff that I purchased with it, thinking that, you know, I clicked on the ethereal. I don't know. I do know that on one of the pages I clicked ethereal light. I just must have messed it up. But anyway, I'm not mad because I have tried the dim light, um, this one here, and um, oh, this is the first hourglass product I've ever brought, sorry. But I, I have played with this and I do like it. But I think that had I brought the ethereal light, I think I would have loved the ethereal light, but I think I would have been happy with just the ethereal light that I might not have actually splashed out and tried these other things. But now that I have the dim light, and I, I, it's good, I like it, right? I think that I will splash out still somewhere along the line and get the ethereal light. So this has kind of prompted me to buy more because this one... This one kind of like blurs the skin and I love that, but I wanted... I wanted that sort of like, um, I don't know, I wanted that sort of moonlight um, kind of glow that ethereal light gives you. I wanted a little bit of bling without it being too in your face, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, bling bling basically. I didn't I didn't want bling bling like a, a, a highlighter. I just wanted some light bouncing off my face, you know. So I will go out and I will get the ethereal light. But anyway, I do have dim light and I do love that. And um, yeah, so I picked that up. But I also picked up a new foundation. I actually picked this up before I went away, and that is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Uh, I'm in the shade um, 0.5 Breeze, and I'm yeah, it's a perfect match for me. I love the shit out of this. If, for me, this is pretty full coverage. Um, it's it's the most full coverage that I've ever had in a foundation, and I love it. It's it, it makes my skin still look dewy and youthful, and I love it. And I I probably will do a review on this later. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like a thousand reviews online about this anyway, so I'm not like in a big rush. But I do love this. Um, yeah. What else? What else can we talk about? The original reason why I wanted to do this video, guys, is because I I got recently the um, Juvia's Place the Violets palette, right? And I love the shit out of purple. You guys know that. I love mauves, purples, and everything like that. And so I picked up this bad boy thinking that's pretty much everything that I need in, in a purple palette, right? And um, I got it and I was excited. I love the size. I paid way too much for this, including shipping to get it to Australia. Um, but I was still happy with it, right? And I've got a love-hate relationship with this. I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm not 100% I'm not uh, pleased with this palette. Um, and I'll tell you why. And I mean, someone can tell me in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but I, I went into this purchase under the impression that these shadows were formulated for for women with a darker complexion, right? Um, yeah, and so I thought to myself, well, that, that kind of, that probably tells me really that the shadow should be pigmented as fuck, right? And I am looking for the perfect eyeshadow formula for me. And, um... So I've, I've been trying a few more brands lately, and I've never tried this brand before. So I thought, beauty, I'll get, I'll get this. Um, it's right up my alley. You know, it's affordable in comparison to some of the other ones. I mean, they're all affordable, but this one was more affordable for me once I paid for shipping, right? And taxes on top of that. So um, I got it, and I've already tried a few purples from a different um, brand, and I was in love with those. Whether it was a matte formula or whether it was a shimmer formula. And so I expected this to be something like that, if not better, because it's an indie brand and it was made for, under my impression, darker skin tone, so it should be pigmented. And I was disappointed. And I was disappointed for two reasons. One, because although these shimmers, there is ooh, four shimmers in here, although these shimmers are absolutely beautiful finger swatched, um, whether it's finger swatched on the... Uh, arm or finger swatched on the eye. I can't seem to do it justice with a brush. Um, maybe that's my brushes. I'm not sure. I'm going to play around with my new brushes with this and see if I can get the pigmentation that I want or sorry, the shine, um, the application that I want with the um, shimmers in this palette. But the mattes, the mattes have got me pissed off. So not only do they finger swatch like shit, but I can't seem to... I don't know, I, I'm sh I can build them up, but it takes a hell of a lot of work, and I find that 
pretty much as soon as I lay it down, it's it's stuck in that spot and I can't really blend it. I don't know, I just feel like that I have to um, really pack it on, but pack it on in the perfect areas. And um, not only that, but this light shade here, this purple, I have a very, very, very similar shade to this in my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I think it's called Gumdrop. And in this palette, it's like, it's almost non-existent. I have to build it up and build it up and build it up. And if, if I try and blend, it's just, it, it's gone, right? Um, and I don't have that problem with the one that's in the Jeffree Star palette. And um, the other thing that I'm comparing it to the Jeffree Star palette, formula-wise and colour-wise, is that these two shimmery purples here, they're very similar to themselves but they're also very similar to the one that is in the uh, Jawbreaker palette, which is called, uh, which is called Bite Me, which is this little guy right here. Um, absolutely gorgeous. It swatches gorgeous. It applies gorgeous, gorgeous color. So when I, when I pick this up and I go, I want a purple look and I want pretty much that, um, that light matte and a purple shimmer, this is not the palette that I'm typically thinking about reaching for, to be honest with you, because like I said, the shimmers are gorgeous, but I can get it in my Jeffree Star palette, and I don't have to work as hard to get this um, pastel purple to work. So um, I'm not saying that I dislike this palette. I do like some elements of this palette, but like if I knew this before I went into buying it, would I buy this? And the answer is no, I wouldn't. Um, there is a shade in here that I do love that's not really purple at all, and that's this this one here. But like I said, you have to apply it with your finger. You're not going to get the, um, well, I haven't found to get the application that I want with any other tool other than my fingers. So um, originally what I was going to do was I was going to do a side-by-side -side with the um, Jawbreaker shades on this side, the purples that is, and the um, Juvia's Place on this side using the similar colours, so the what I would call the dupable colours from this palette, um, these palettes. So that's what I intended to do originally when I came back from the holiday, but my head has just been so full with everything that's going on that I just didn't get that far. So, um, and I mean, I am 20 minutes into this video already, guys, and I haven't even put one ounce of makeup on my face. So I guess this is really pretty much just going to be a chit chat. I think I might get a re get ready with me in the next video. I think I really do want to do that Jawbreaker versus um, the purples in the Jawbreaker palette versus uh, the violets from um, Juvia's Place. So I will do that one soon. I think I'll try and make that a little bit shorter. So I will do a get ready with me and just talk about the makeup that I'm using and why I like it. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do today, guys. I'm not actually going to put any makeup on my face. Um, there is a couple of more things that I'm absolutely loving at the moment, so maybe we should talk about that. But first I want to talk to you about some palettes that are coming out that I'm really excited about. Um, and I don't know why, but I just am. So I do have a couple of ColourPop palettes at the moment. I've got a Build Your Own ColourPop palette, which I made. I have the Fame palette, and I have the, um... It's My Pleasure purple palette, and I love every single one of those palettes. And they have brought out, obviously it's been out for a little while now, but they brought out the um, Going Coconuts palette, and I want that because I don't have any really like neutral palettes, but I don't want to spend a ton of money on like a um, ABH or um, Natasha Denona palette or anything like that. I just want, I want a basic palette that I know is going to work. And so I'm looking at ColourPop, you know, and um, I can't help it. So I have been considering pulling the trigger and getting that it's a uh, Going Coconuts palette, but then they brought out the Bare Necessities palette, right? I think it's Bare Necessities. And although I'm not a huge fan of big palettes, um, despite the fact of my having the uh, Jawbreaker palette. I don't know. I've looked at a lot of swatch videos and I love, what was it? There's 30, sh I think there's 30 shades in there and there was only two of them that I probably wouldn't wear or if I did wear it, it would only be like once in a blue moon. And I'm looking at that and I'm going, well, I mean, come on. Who likes like 99% of a palette? I never have. So in my opinion, that's screaming. You, you, you gotta get it. Like I've never loved by sight 
90% or 99% of any palette ever until after I have actually purchased it. Um, and so, yeah, I, I don't know what to do there. So I want the Bare Necessities, but I also want the Going Coconuts. Got to figure out which one I want. Maybe I want both, but it's a little bit pricey if I do that. But then they come out with the, is it called Making Moves? <sighs> the swatches. Mm. I don't know. Look, I prefer my mauves to be a little bit more purple. Um, and I think these mauves are a little bit more pink, in my opinion. But I don't know, there's something about that that I absolutely love. I love the packaging and I love the shades. I've seen the swatches. I've seen people applying it and, and talking about it. And I, I, I want that too. But I mean, I also want some of their liners. I've been hearing good things about their unique colored liners, like, you know, the, um, the blue one and the green one. I can't remember what the names of them are. And, um, and their sister brands are bringing out things that I want to try. There's a, um, ah, uh, I'm not, there's a spray, a mist from, is it 4th Ray Beauty? Um, it's like this orange mist or something like that. I'm eager to try that. Um, I want to pick up my Belle lipstick again because my toddler killed two of them. Two. I have to have that again. I, ha I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm eager to try their new Lux glosses, I think they are. So they've got a lot of things at the moment that I'm really eager to try, despite the fact that I'm trying to try things from other brands that I've never tried before. But Colourpop, I think they just need to slow down. I need, I need Colourpop to pause because there's a whole lot of other things from another bunch of companies that I want to try and I just can't because Colourpop's going, look at me, look at me, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> So yeah, so a little while ago Teresa sent me some um, merch and a prize. I'd won uh, like a little competition that she had. Um, I, I think it was a silent competition to be honest with you because I wasn't aware of it and I watch every video that she makes. So if you don't know who Teresa is dead, you should go check out her channel. She's a fucking hoot. Um, but she sent me this benefit uh, highlighter in the shade Cookie. And... <sighs> I freaking love this. And it's funny, it's, it is quite bling bling, right? I'm not normally like a full blown in your face bling bling sparkle kind of girl. Um, but this is so unique and I absolutely love it. But I found a way that I love to use it the most. This has now become my inner corner highlight for almost every look. I'm, I'm, I haven't got anything better than this for my inner corner highlight, so I'm really digging this. You guys know a little while ago I brought the Fenty, my first Fenty item, and it was this fussy um, gloss bomb. I've been using it ever since, and i got to tell you, still, I mean, I'm, I've, I've used quite a lot of it. I use it every day. I'm still absolutely loving it. There's something about it, like, I put it on my lips, and it doesn't go anywhere, and every time I look in the mirror, they look they look juicy, but they don't look so juicy to the point where you're like, ew, I don't want to touch her, she's sticky. No, they, they're like that inviting juicy, like, oof, you know, look at her. And it makes me feel good, you know? It really makes me feel good. So this is definitely going to become a staple in my makeup routine. Well, not my makeup routine, but my everyday. Like, when I leave the house and I'm, I haven't got any other makeup on, this is coming with me. The lip glosses move over. This, this is it for me. So, um... But in saying that, and I haven't got it on me right now, of a night time when I go to bed after I do like my skincare routine, I am still loving the Bite Lip Agave Lip Mask. Um, I've got the flavour or scent, whatever you want to call it, maple. And I love the shit out of that, guys. I mean, I put it on. It tastes good. It even looks good, right? And in the morning, I, don't, I, I put the smallest amount on. Like, you should see how much I put on my finger. You'd be like, no. Granted, I have small lips, but whatever. Moving on, in the morning, it's still there. And I mean, it's like still there. Um, I absolutely love the shit out of that. And um, yeah, yeah, we're getting close to wrapping up everything that I got. I've gotten a few more Bella boxes since I've spoken to you guys. They're okay. Like they've, they're definitely still worth their money, but there's nothing really that I've been getting lately that I could just sit here and brag to you guys about. But I did get... This is going to piss a few people off and I apologise, but I'm okay with it now. I did get in this month's one a um, KVD, or it's still Kat Von D on these, um, one of her Everlasting Lipsticks in the shade Sanctuary. And um, 
This is a really unique colour to me. I've never worn anything like it. In fact, there's a photo here for you guys. And I've got to tell you, I'm really digging it. Um, it's not the shade that I would have picked out for myself. I would have probably gone with Lolita or something like that. But I don't know. I actually loved it. And um, it didn't dry. Like, it felt a little bit dry when I was wearing it. But it didn't dry my lips out. Like, when I took it off later, which was really easy to take off, to be honest with you, um, it didn't make me feel disgusting. It didn't... It didn't screw up my lips so I absolutely love that um and yeah I mean I haven't really got anything new or exciting to talk about at the moment I am going to have an empties video coming up in the near future I just got to get through a few more things and like I said I really want to do that video for you guys with the um Jeffree Star uh purples versus um well Jeffree Star Jawbreaker purples versus the Juvia's Place the Violet's purples and and show you see if I can pull off the same look with the two different palettes Give you my feels about that but guys if you like what you saw today i'm i really do appreciate everything that you guys do whether you watch for five minutes you watch for the whole thing whether you like whether you subscribe whether you share i appreciate everything and um i hope that this video did something for you even if it was just to distract you from what's going on in the world right now i needed to do this video for myself as well um yeah so um i hope you guys will come back and um Watch me in the next video if you're new to the family and you want to see more. I know this was just a pretty basic video, but um, I've got a whole playlist of different things that you might be interested in. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. But like I say to everybody else, if you're going to hit that subscribe button and you want to see all of my videos when they upload, don't forget to check the bell. And uh, yeah, here are all my socials as well, guys. I'm on Instagram predominantly and uh, YouTube, at least until YouTube uh, opens up the doors and I can talk to you through um, through there properly and uh, other than making a video. And I uh, hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.